Well, my left tackle is fine. He's good. Uh, yeah, he stretched and made sure he felt better and feel good and getting stuff ready to go. But didn't, but didn't practice, if that's what you're asking. No, he did not. You know, it's significant he hasn't missed a down. I mean, and he won't. To play Sunday? He won't. He won't miss a down. No question in my mind about that. Cody practice full, look good. Thank you. Ready to go. I don't know that, but um, I know Cody's ready to play. Um, just, do you think he'll have any limitations or restrictions, or did you see that he looked? I think he's fine. As a number two? I don't know that yet. If not, would Hogan be number two? Um, a combination of, you know, whatever we need to do. Um, if he's not. He was in some pain Sunday. Right, no, he was. No, again, credit to him, our doctors, you know, our trainers, rather. I think they've done a good job getting him back out there and going. I mean, as you know, he hasn't missed a day of practice, so that's good. That's a good thing. As the season has gone by, what have you seen uh, Cody do better each week? I just think he's getting better. He's understanding um, our system, how to play within our system, where to deliver the ball to. Uh, I think he's started to play in a rhythm, you know, that runs our offense in a rhythm that works for him. And um, again, that's what we have to do is whoever's playing quarterback, make sure we get them in rhythm where they can play and function and, and play good. So he's he's done a good job, obviously, but still so early in the season, got a long way to go. responded to Tom Brady touchdown and then the injury happened. So um, is this is this a good thing? Is this an encouraging thing for him to get to go back out there and try to kind of pick up on that where he left off? Oh, yeah. No, I think so. I mean, I think that's what he wants to do. Uh, that's what we want to do on offense is go back to that, that drive we had before he got hurt and play in that kind of rhythm in that fashion. So, yeah, that's that's the goal. Many other people, really in the league, kind of saw in Cody what what you did see in him, and has he kind of been uh, living up to the expectations that you had? This is what you kind of thought you were going to get. I think he's doing. You know, again, I think it's still early, but I think he's doing some good things, and uh, he's getting better. And I think obviously the more these young guys play, the better it'll get. But he's done some some things well, but he's got to continue to grow. offensive line at all? Uh, do you know? As far as? Interior, who's at center and guard? Oh, yeah, no, Cam's, Cam's, where, Cam's ready to go. Cam's there, and um, obviously Greco and Alvin Bailey and, um, you know, Cooper. You know, again, we'll know more by the end of the week, but I feel good about the guys who are going to walk out there first. I do feel good about the, the starting line. Do you and Greco back to right guard? Yes, I have. Do you have any more no. on why might come back? No, sir. There's nothing new at this point. When you look at that defensive line, what's stands out about them? <laughs> number 99, number 96, 98. They're good. You know, 91. They're good players. You know, they're really good players. Play hard. And um, I think uh, Casey's playing as good as anybody in the league right now. He just he is he's uh, he's a dominant football player and a rapo is proven guy has six sacks so that tells you they know how to get to the quarterback when you, see, uh, when you watch uh, marcus mariota on film what are his transfers good young quarterback you know that's evolving each and every week he can throw make all the throws you know he's very talented with his legs i think he's finding his rhythm and playing you know, they got good runners that he can turn and hand it to and a good offensive line. So I just, you know, he's playing good. Just don't want him to play good this Sunday. That's all. Good. What do you think about your, your thoughts on your return game so far this season? What, 
What do you need to see a little bit more? From yeah, I would like to make more plays, you know, I'd like to have the ball come back at the opponent a little bit more, you know, a little further, run for a touchdown, all those good things. But, no, I mean, I, you know, again, I think uh, Coach Tabor's done a good job. You know, he's been mixing and matching the whole year. You know, we don't have a lot of the core guys that are right there, but he's uh, he's done a admirable job of getting these guys every week up to speed. And I think uh, inserting Duke back there surely has helped a little bit, add some excitement to that 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 team. Good. <laughs> when you uh, uh, Ray Horton, Ray Horton left Tennessee to come right. to work for you. Uh, one more, was anybody else considered out? Remember reporting on anyone else? Anybody considered for me? Yeah. Oh, there was a ton of people. Yeah. And what, what did you like about Ray? To, to uh, again, you know, Ray has been in this division, and um, I've competed against Ray when I was at a, another team, and uh, within this division a couple of times. And I know uh, playing against his defenses has been tough. You know, they've always get got up to the quarterback and and covered well and uh, did some good things. So uh, there's no question Ray's the right guy for this job and for this opportunity. Uh, we just got to continue to get better. I thought you said one. Yeah, but this is still the same <laughs> subject. Um, his familiarity with LeBeau, do you, do you need that or you, you've competed against LeBeau? Absolutely. Also? Yeah, no. I mean, obviously, Dick LeBeau is one of the best coordinators in this league, you know. But we face good coordinators every week, you know. There's there's a whole bunch of them in this league, and that's what they do. But, um no, Dick LeBeau is as good as there is, and he's got those guys playing well. And um, we, we got a big challenge again this weekend.